Over here next door, they got a little car lot here, and we got Ray, William Pegues right here. He's doing a little work over here. Hold on, every kid's doing any work, but he's doing it today, sir. <laughs> that's a Kodak moment. That's, yeah, yeah. Mr. Wallace right there, I don't think he minds being videoed. I would. And Randy don't mind being videoed. No. So it's, Randy's working. It's a miracle. Oh, okay. be sure to put that on there. <laughs> you see the face of our barber shop. It's over here in a little, out, right outside of uh, Walmart, about one point six tenths of a mile past Walmart on the right going toward uh, Chesterfield coming out of Chirol. Kind of see we have a, what it looks like around here, just a little community right here. I was able to buy this place in the back field, this whole place with dirt. So uh, we probably got over a thousand loads of rock and brick and dirt in this uh, place. So we're walking up now. Got to put an electric motor into that thing there. It's out on me right now. Got to fix that. Walking into the barber shop, you can see what we got here. That's my old barber chair. My Belmont. I've had it about 15 years, and that's one I'm working on here. Got the base for it right here. Got a bunch of money in that chair already, so you can kind of see what we got here. Just a little bit in this barber shop. We got different things we use here. Got an old barber chair here I just bought. I'm working on so. I kind of been working on quite a few barber chairs over the years. I've uh, well, got this old coking barber chair that I fixed up. Another old coking right here. This old wooden chair that I rebuilt. With my two boys, Landon and Grant, or Landon and Grant, my wife Vivian when she was just a little bit younger. Me when I was just a little bit younger too. My wife when she was just a little bit younger. She had a picture taken in front of a mirror so that's why she got a double there I see my methods in trade teaching took that back in about 1984 I think it was or 1984 some of my tools that I used did the work got a guy that cleans up every night so leave him something to do but I kind of see some of the tools what we're doing back here Going back here, I got my computer room. I put a lot of my videos on. Oh, get the little documentary today. <laughs> yeah. About three or four minutes of your haircut on it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, man. Do We're doing a little mini documentary. Yeah. We got a family reunion. She used to teach him in school. He's about as old as she is. <laughs> she got surprised. Yeah, we're going to show it several times. 
Well, it's going to get filled up. I hope so. Mm -hmm. I'm supposed to give out the same style of churches. I know you can eat a free hot dog in the day. Oh, yeah, I eat two or three hot dogs. <laughs> you leave me till eight a bunch. <laughs> well, you can bring your children. There is one violent of any kind. Oh, yeah, that'd be, I think it'd be a decent movie, that's what I'm thinking. I don't know if it was scared of kids or not. They'd like it. Here's your Listen, well, if you will, give that to your church. Okay, bring the care to the church, okay. They put it in the thing or whatever they want to do it. Yeah, and some other church it was going in with helping us soon. I don't know. I can't remember the name of it. I never heard of it before. It's um the people, most of them were halls from that I think it's out near your church. I thought that's midway, maybe. No, it's not midway. That's not the name. Okay. Some other smaller one around. I think it maybe it's a fairly new church. I think I some of the people are. I can't remember their names. But they're helping us. We got your eye, eye care practice back up and running yet? Or no. Be a while yet? I'm going tomorrow to see if I get my license back. That'd be good. Yeah, if I can get it back, it'd be great. Because I, yeah. I want to go back to work. Shouldn't have any trouble with it. You know, everybody else wants to not work. I want to work. I know what you mean. You wouldn't like not working, would you? No, man. We've got two little ones, too. Yeah, i got to keep the kids going. Yeah, they're going to go to college one day. Yeah, that's what they're going to bring them to say. That's going to cost to do. Yeah. Hey, Jane Alice. You know, there's such a thing as, like, you can go to okay. Caroline Where are you? and buy a four-year degree. And that's oh, current wonderful. tuition rates. I know, I know. Kind of the whole Wonderful. class will keep it from going up. You can do that before they go to college. Good. Okay. But you need more time to save, don't you? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm out here getting Richard getting his hair cut. Oh, I heard about that. I don't know, after 25 years, right? It tells you in the book that to have a happy marriage, men have to have their cave time. You've got, you've got to give them their <laughs> lounge chair. The They've got to have their quiet space. Oh, I've got my own room. They didn't say nothing about locking the cave. Yeah, all the kids got growing going. That's oh, I'll find what to do that room. That's right, your cave time. Yeah, you got to, and women, all they want you to do is listen. They don't want you to respond. They just want you to listen. Yeah, so if, you, yeah. if you listen and don't respond, that's good. I, like I said, I got the thing figured you out. You got it figured out? Yes. You got a cave and you yes. don't listen. I mean, it's just me too bad. I don't know what I have to listen to. Sure. We can't go to Walmart. Pick out paint colors for your room at their home. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh. Man, I appreciate it. You're welcome. Good to see you again. Hope everything works out good tomorrow. You give me a $5 tip. Oh, bless you. $5 tip. <laughs> <laughs> what I do here, $5 tip. So if I get here, I'll know you to see it, right? I paid my half. I got the Mess it up, can't remember. Is that talking about your wife talking on the phone all the time? No, no. Oh, your ex wife. No. Lay us back and still pin it up. Layers, okay. Yeah. Well, you can pin it up, okay. Uh, long layers, you just want about that much off of it, just a, just a little bit. Yeah. And, and it's about that, about about an inch or two on over. Yeah. Just layer. Yeah, How you want your haircut, little girl? Uh huh. <laughs> no, uh, she don't want no haircut. Okay, let me look at the back over here a little bit. Yeah, that, you got real good hair. Let's see. Didn't I cut your hair before? Mm -hmm. I thought I had. It's been a while though, hadn't it? Mm -hmm. I love long hair. <laughs> yeah. Now, who was your mother? Ellen Hayes. Ellen Hayes, okay. Uh -huh. Get this thing back on here. Yeah. Uh -huh. I don't know about that, baby. Get back there, then. I'm trying to get my hair somewhat done because mm -hmm. I'm getting married in October. Don't try to Yeah. Nothing like it. <laughs> I like being married. I hate the single life. No. I'm 
องเยอะมองไปอย่างนี้ให้เกิดยูจูสเดนเดนนี่คือช็อตนะเดนนี่คือเกิดเดนนี่คือเกิดเดนนี่คือเกิดเดนนี่คือเกิดเดนนี่คือเกิดเดนนี่คือเกิดเดนนี่คือเกิดเดนนี่คือเกิดเดนนี่คือเกิดเดนนี่คือเกิดเดนนี่คือเกิดเดนนี่คือเกิดเดนนี่คือเกิเราอยู่ตรงนี้ใช่ไหมเราอยู่ตรงนี้ใช่ไหมเราอยู่ตรงนี้ใช่ไหมเราอยู่ตรงนี้ใช่ไหมเราอยู่ตรงนี้ใช่ไหมเราอยู่ตรงนี้ใช่ไหมเราอยู่ตรงนี้ใช่ไหมเราอยู่ตรงนี้ใช่ไหมเราอยู่ตรงนี้ใช่ไหมเราอยู่ตรงนี้ใช่ไหมเราอยู่ตรงนี้ใช่ไหมเราอยู่ตรงนี้ใช่ไหมเราอยู่ตรงนี้ใช่ไหมเราอยู่ตรงนี้ใช่ไหมเราอยู่ตรงนี้ใช่ไหมเราอยู่ตรงนี้ใช่ไหมเราอยู่ตรงนี้ใช่ไหมเราอยู่ตรงนี้ใช่ไหมเราอยู่ตรงนี้ใช่ไหมเราอยู่ตรงนี้ใช่ไหมเราอยู่ตรงนี้ใช่ไหมเราอยู่ตรงนี้ใช่ไหมเราอยู่ตรงนี้ใช่ไหมเราอยู่ตรงนี้ใช่ไหมเราอยู่ตรงนี้ใช่ไหมเราอยู่ตรงนี้ใช่ไหมเราอยู่ตรงนี้ใช่ไหมเราอยู่ตรงนี้ใช่ไหมเราอยู่ตรงนี้ใช่ไหมเราอยู่ตรงนี้ใช่ไหมเราอยู่ตรงนี้ใช่ไหมเราอยู่ตรงนี้ใช่ไหมเราอยู่ตรงนี้ใช่ไหมเราอยู่ตรงนี้ใช่ไหมเราอยู่ตรงนี้ใช่ไหมเราอยู่ตรงนี้ใช่ไหมเราอยู่ตรงนี้ใช่ไหมเราอยู่ตรงนี้ใช่ไหมเราอยู่ตรงนี้ใช่ไหมเราอยู่ตรงนี้ใช่ไหมเราอยู่ตรงนี้ใช่ไหมเราอยู่ตรงนี้ใช่ไหมเราอยู่ตรงนี้ใช่ไหมเราอยู่ตรงนี้ใช่ไหมเราอยู่ตรงนี้ใช่ไหมเราอยู่ตรงนี้ใช่ไหมเราอยู่ตรงนี้ใช่ไหมเราอยู่ตรงนี้ใช่ไหมเราอยู่ตรงนี้ใช่ไหมเราอยู่ตรงนี้ใช่ไหมเราอยู่ตรงนี้ใช่ไหมเราอยู่ตรงนี้ใช่ไหมเราอยู่ตรงนี้ใช่ไหมเราอยู่ตรงนี้ Well, it's hard to find somebody that reaches up long enough. I know. Just to pay a big down payment. Yeah. They don't. Mom. They don't make it up. They won't give you the house, you know. Yeah, mom and daddy's in desperate need. You're in desperate need to find somebody to live. Yeah. Yeah. They don't give an answer to that shit. Yeah. It's hard to get somebody to just rent it to you. Can't do that. You got some. Yes, I get. One thing about the haircut business, I've always enjoyed it. Now that layered haircut is one of the first ones I ever did in, in, in haircut in school. Turn around the back, let's see. The layered look, I ready to call it Farrah Fawcett look or something like that. And uh, that's what we did the very start with. You feel better? Mm -hmm. Feel like a new woman? Yes. Okay. Give us a big smile. <laughs> hey girl, let me trim your bangs. Come here girl. Come here girl. Get a lot of extra time being a barber. Sometimes I write a few songs. Right? I got my wife mad with me the other day and she was walking around the place kind of mad looking a little bit. You know, we got a little argument. So I had to write her a song real quick, get myself out of that hole I dug for myself. Baby, you make me look good. Smart, but you're sharp as a tack. When I met you, I didn't look back. I loved you, and that's a cold hard fact. I don't wanna be misunderstood, baby. You make me look good. All these vets and had a shiny car, diamond ring that shines by far. Gas in my tank and love in my heart. I look real smart, baby. You make me look good. When we walk in a room, everybody wants to see the pretty little girl hanging all over me. There you go, shining like a diamond in the night. I show sure look good just standing in your light, baby. You make me look. First started with the barber business back in uh, about 1980. The first, I think it was the first month of 1980. Uh, second month of 1982, I started the barber business. I had just a little mobile home. My grandmother helped me go to school. She bagged a lot of people in her early years. Helped uh, several of them go to college. People that couldn't really afford to go, and I was one of our family members that did want to go. My brother didn't really care about it. My sister didn't have anything she wanted to do, but. I wanted to become a barber hairstylist, so my grandmother backed me. I think she paid six or seven hundred dollars for me to go to school back then, back about 1980. And uh, she actually put, helped me get a trailer and had my first business about three years at Teal's Mill. But I did pretty good there. Always had more than I could do on Saturday mornings. Cut 20 haircuts every, every day on Saturdays, which was a lot of haircuts when you cut all of them with shears and everything with shear cutting. 
you know, using scissors and thinning shears and just a little bit of trimming with raised, a clipper, not very much at all. And so it's a, during the week was pretty slow. So I decided I'd move up and I rented a place up at up in Chiral. It's right there, not nowhere from where Walmart's at right now. And I actually opened my business there and my business doubled immediately, which I had about three years to practice and to get real good, pretty good at cutting hair. So my business pretty much doubled the first year that I was there. I worked there about 18 years uh, buying a, a, a new mobile home. Probably, I think I had that thing like 15 years when I moved to, to my location I'm at now. But I bought that uh, mobile home being a single man then. Uh, probably wasn't as dedicated to the haircutting business as I am now. But 20 years ago, I, 21 years ago, I met my wife. Uh, well, I'd known her from school, but uh, in high school. But uh, 20 years ago, we were married, and I got pretty serious and dedicated to my work. Uh, and uh, having a family, having our two little boys there that we have now, they're six years old. We adopted, and I'm so so thankful for them. But uh, the haircut business been good to me. I was able to purchase nine acres of land on Number Nine Highway. Finally got it paid for, backfilled it. I, don't, I imagine we put a thousand loads of dirt, rock, and brick and clay just on top of it. And I was able to get a lot of clay from different building projects. Able to backfill it, and I was looking for a, a building. And I just kind of got there praying one day, asked God to help me with it. And I said, God, I don't want to get in debt. I'm in debt with this new house. And I'm paying for this land, five, six hundred dollars a month payments, nine acres of land. And so the fella had a double wide trailer company where he sells double wides. And I had this extra piece of land, like three or four acres of land he was needing. And we made a deal for him to uh, actually uh, lease the land from me, give me a double wide, gave me the title for it, free and clear, put it, tied it down on the land. And I put my barbershop in it. Uh, no payments whatsoever, free. He took it for 10 years for the lease and I gave him two additional years for a certain amount of money that I let him rent it for. But uh, it's been, business, barber business has been good to us. We've made a good living. Enjoy it. Encourage anybody to get into it that really likes it. Tell me what you can do, Willard. Come on, show me something. Tell me something, boy. <laughs> You good, boy? Play something. <laughs> 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 you want to kind of flip it up in the front? What you want about three on top? Half inch plate or? Uh, I know. I know this was an eight. Uh, I know that was an eight because it was an inch. Okay. That okay. That was all. The front was an inch, and I faded it back. Okay. So well, okay. I know. I know. I went from. I went. To, I did a two. The two. Uh, four. Three. Okay. But you do it, you can do it. Well, I'll do a start with a pretty thin down here at the bottom. Yeah, because I want to make it a bit shorter because it is hot. Oh, definitely. Get my hair out of the way. What you were talking about being interested in cutting hair or something one time? Mm-hmm. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay. Got a school over in Florence. Yeah, we got Kyle and They got another one over there, Thompson Barber College. Okay. A lot of white guys go over there and he's. A lot of black guys go, a lot of white guys go. They train anybody. Because yeah. I, I always, I've been cutting my own hair for a while. Because mm -hmm. I ain't been able to get up here. Yeah. yeah I know I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah. It's been, it's been a good minute. Yeah. Yeah, I've been watching some of your videos on... Uh, oh, did you see some of those? Oh, yeah, I've seen some. Yeah, how'd you find them? Uh, just search your name. Okay. And it brought up your whole list of everything. If you actually go to Michael Ryan Cassidy, you find my stuff easier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, probably Michael Cassidy pulled it right up through the haircut. Yeah. Because uh, I seen, uh, I see where you cut my brothers. Yeah. And yeah. you did, uh, you did the same, a ball, a ball of fade. Yeah. So yeah. flip up. Flip up the front, yeah. I have 400 something videos. I, I was noticing about the documentaries. Mm -hmm. Last night, and what I wanted to do was do a little documentary of my business and my life, you know. Mm -hmm. Probably, you know, I'll probably go home tonight and, you know, do a little things on there, maybe. I don't know. Cook on there or something, you know. That's what, what, what I do when I get home in the afternoons. I think people are interested in it, you know. Oh, yeah, I'm always interested. I, you know, I, I was going there and watching, and I try to learn. There's a guy in the business field that trains people, too, now. Mm -hmm. Doug's over there in business field. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he trained. 
Yeah, I've been, I just gonna go in there and watch yours and see how you do it. Yeah, you can learn learn a lot, but oh man, you can learn so much off of that, yeah. But you want to just get your regular license when you go to work one day, don't you? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm about to be getting married, so I had to make sure I get my haircut. Yeah. You get hitched, huh? Oh yeah, I'm getting uh I'm getting married this week. Man, I didn't know you was that close to getting married. Well, we're just we're doing a doing a small ceremony this weekend. We're going to be a big one in December. Mm -hmm. Somebody around right here? Uh, she's from Bensonville. Well, the good part of Bensonville. Okay. Over here in Bloom. Yeah. yeah. Give me a call. Finish this haircut up. They were a good donut place down here in Florence the other day. All donut places are good. What's <laughs> well, not Krispy Kreme, but the other one over there on the other side, back there going like going to the beach at the gas station. What is it? Yeah, Duckin. And that was good. Went to the beach, came back with the kids. Yeah, went here not this past weekend, but the weekend before. Is that where you get yours at? That same place? Or another place? That donuts? Duckin, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't eat them that much, but when I do, they're a Krispy Kreme one or the other. Mm -hmm. Is that one place over there or is there several places? Uh, several of them. Okay. There's something about donuts I love them. I know, I know Willard does too. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> something about them things, they're good. see the, the life of a South Carolina barber on this video okay most of them videos were from up north it looked like a lot of them were that I saw I said a little documentary what goes on in the barber shop Yeah, Rocky, uh, I want to get it like back on the interview this thing again. There was a sheriff department? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I can't say nothing about that. <laughs> but that whole video. <laughs> uh, I, I had a job a while ago. I don't know about now, but I had one a while ago. A while ago? So, yeah, yeah, I got off about 12. <laughs> Go back, you don't know if you got it. <laughs> well, I was in the video you did, they wanted you out of here. <laughs> I was making a little video letting people see about the about the barbershop, what all goes on in it and all. And talking about the haircut and business and showing a few haircuts. And yeah, yeah. I need a little comedian laughter in there with it. <laughs> Go ahead and get started. I'm wide waiting for you. So what you say about your wife? What did you tell me a minute ago? I forgot what she did. Uh, no, I can't tell you that. <laughs> She's not looking on that seat. She's not to see it on it. Well, you be in trouble. Yeah. Well, did you talk big when I ain't looking? <laughs> She's a little girl. I figure I'll keep her alive. Yeah. Y'all play much music I'm now? I'm going to like her a little bit. Y'all play much music now? Just a little bit, here and there. Here and there. Do you play any drums? Uh, or even more college and beating on I remember when you was in high school, you were doing that cat scratch fever. Oh, Y'all sing that song? Oh, yes. <laughs> well, a long time ago. That boy was good. <laughs> that was a long, long time ago. That was interesting, I tell you. About that now, it's a little bit hard to keep everything going eh? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's a lot different from you. Between, between 25 and 55. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Big difference. How's, how's Tim doing now? He's doing good. He's doing good. Moving along. Hard headed as ever. I know it hurt from his mind. 
Uh, but he called me and talked to him a little bit. I heard him late. Heard from him late. Yeah. I figured he's busy or something. Oh yeah. You still buying many stocks and stuff? Nah, nah, I ain't messed with all that much. I had time. I bought something this morning, a few, few stocks. Yeah, but you got plenty of money. <laughs> <laughs> some days, some days, some days I don't. So I'll Keep a nice scissor cut, kind of. So the, nerve, the clippers make you nervous when they come on? <laughs> I know that. About that same way, how you going? scared drawing up. You know, when I first started cutting hair, somebody said, Give me a buzz. That's about 30 something years ago. Right. I didn't know what a buzz was. I mean, it was during the time we just cut hair with six years. We didn't cut hair with clippers at all. Right. And I didn't know what they said. You know, cut it the same length all over about a, just a little bit of hair. I didn't know what that man was talking about. But I know I got one when I was little. I got a buzz, but I didn't, I didn't think nothing about that. I mean, you know. And uh, I cut the guy's hair, it looked pretty good. But all you had to have was a guard, you know, but I didn't even hardly use clippers at all. So. Do look at the shaved necks and everything, that's about it. For a start. My sister-in-law has been real sick. She's fighting a battle with cancer. She's been sick about 15 years with it. But is it I know she had, had fought it there at one time. I didn't realize it was right recently. Yeah. Yeah. Had brain cancer in the liver. She just suffered. Had to carry her down to the hospital up there in Florence. Get her out of pain the other day. She's back at home now. I know my brother when he got married, he just sat around and looked at a picture, you know, right before they got married. I love, I, I love Sherry. Just every night, you know. He was just a teenager, you know. He loved her with a passion, still loved her. Say when you got to go through them things. This is about what we did when I first started the scissor cut. That's, that's all we did. Right. We're doing that. I messed up quite a few when I first started that. <laughs> cut them real short, you know. But I had everybody around T.O. Bill, little guys that had to cut the hair when I was. You know, 15 years old, probably 14 years old. That's right. A lot of people I cut the hair. I didn't really know what I was doing, but that old cloth scissors. If I had somebody show me something, I could have probably been good at it right off, you know. Just didn't know anything about it. There's the finished haircut. Turned out pretty decent. Appreciate you letting me do it for you. Don't look that way, does it? Mm -hmm. How long have I been cutting your hair now? You've been cutting my hair ever since I was about 23 years old. <laughs> I'm 66 now. <laughs> 
boy started to get there, but <laughs> that might be Perry, the other guy. Well, Perry, Perry cut it and Johnny. <laughs> but when I come over here and start with you, I, I put him on the back side. <laughs> I appreciate you did this too. Yeah. I think they put the paper when I won the Barber of the Year or something in yeah. Chester County. They put out, we cut in here 53 years or something. I won. Five and four ones. Hold on one second. Four ones. We got good. Yeah. Five and four. Appreciate you too. Good seeing you. Good seeing you. Fellas had a stroke. He's been through it, but he suffered real hard with that stroke. It's still getting around though. Still moving. I think I cut about 18 or 20 yesterday. My marks of eleven dollars each and about fifteen or sixteen, seventeen today, fifteen, sixteen. So not not a real busy day today, but you know, we have the real good days and some of the days a little bit just a little bit busier. And I'm getting ready to call it a day. And uh thanks for watching our documentary too. I'm getting ready to go to the house. I'm gonna show you just a little bit of my house life. You'll be able to see what's going on. Thanks for watching. Going to the house. Nice house on this little street. That's where I dwell at. It's your daddy, boy. Open the door. What y'all doing? Hey. What y'all doing up in here? Y'all ain't working? Look at y'all. They ain't watching TV. Ain't doing nothing. And there's my mama in law. She's worked hard today. She don't want me to video her. She's, she's too sweaty. I'll sound get away you. This is where the Cassidy's live at right here. Where you got home, I told him I said, I think it's <laughs> Come on, eat with us. I, said, I, I ain't going to pull the camera out of her. She's pretty anyway, but she don't look it's quite as good sweaty like that as she usually does. So I ain't going to put her on the video. Vivian's back in the back room hiding somewhere, sir. So. Anyway, I might show you how I cook dinner here in a little bit. Right now I'm doing just a little bit of cooking. I do this about every afternoon. My wife gets in the yard and works real hard, so I can't fuss about that. But I do do a lot of cooking here at the house. I don't mind cooking. Right now I'm getting ready to cook some hamburgers. I got some potatoes over there that I cut up. And uh, get ready to have a little. She don't care about eating, so I have to get, get in here and get something to eat. I, I would video her, but she's been working all day, sweating and everything. So. I'm going to get on the video right now. So you just kind of see what happens at the cast of the house. Uh, the barber shop, you see what happened there today. So this is kind of what happens at our house. And, uh, that's kind of the way it is. There's a little something going on here. Well, that's a good drink. I've been drinking water all day and coffee. Good amount of juice. This house we got here, so we've been cutting hair and barbered and my wife been doing what she does and that's why we're able to pull the this house. And we enjoyed you watching our video and thanks for coming to our channel. Please subscribe to us if you enjoyed it. Thank you.